boy, we got the shine. I'll do this. We're doing the hood 40 yard dash, bro. So he gonna do the 40 yard dash and we gonna time him, bro. See, I don't know what 40 yards is, bro. I just made up some bullshit in my head. So this drill might be rigged. Sorry for the other opponents. Yeah, we're doing the hood 40 yard dash, bro. He gonna run and we gonna time him. And to make sure he reaches his max speed, his max potential, I am going to be chasing him. I'm gonna be chasing him and he doesn't want me to catch him because I have a little surprise for him. If he lets me catch him, bro, I got a little surprise for him. So. Yeah, back to the video. Alright, first up, we got e Dog representing O Block Wick City. Very, very popular block. Probably a fan favorite today. e Dog did mention he had a rod in his leg, so it will be very interesting to see how he performs. He says the rod will make him run faster, so we'll just in a second see if that's true or not. How he got the rod in his leg, I don't know. Might have been involved in some illegal activities, but we're not here to talk about that. Anyways, it looks like our host, Golden African, is still getting set up here. He says he has a surprise to make the competition run faster i'm curious to see what it is wait did this nigga a cop oh hell no i ain't gonna lie this is a hood nigga's number one nightmare bro dealing with a undercover cop i ain't gonna lie if i'm e -Dog, i'm running for my life go to the african yo where's the police i can't believe you dude three two one oh my goodness e -Dog from old block barely surviving the speed from the african boy we was very close to seeing an arrest just right there folks but hold on let's get a replay on this look at the speed from this god gifted african man like we just think the e dog didn't even know what to do you could see he was worried on his face bro he knew he was cooked when he seen a tall slender man six foot god gifted speed african chasing him bro he thought he was going to jail oh uh, yeah damn all right, folks, our clumsy timekeeper did, in fact, not stop the timer, so we were not able to get an accurate timing of e Dog's time, so we have to redrill the drill. All right, next up, folks, we got Puda slash No Face. You can call him whatever you want. Me, personally, though, I call him Puda. The nigga changes his name every week, so it don't really matter for real. But anyways, Puda will be representing bkn if y'all don't know already puda is an upcoming rapper in chicago i'd say he is the underdog today but depending on his performance today he could prove me wrong but we will just have to wait and see right now it looks like our host is getting everything situated so the first drill can begin so let's just take it down there as they get ready folks like our host calculations of 40 yards was way off folks so he is extending the length of the run if you ask me though i just think the nigga salty he didn't keep up or the nigga just need to do his research on what 40 yards really is next time but what can i say man this is not no official olympics this is the hood olympics very ghetto setup very very unorganized but what can i say welcome to the hood olympics hi folks next up we got trail representing toss gang trail was actually not the original person scheduled to be representing toss gang today so this was a last minute substitute because the original people who were supposed to represent this side today decided they want to be fucking 
Ooh, you know what? I, I'm I'm not gonna say it, folks. I'm not gonna say that's a story for another day. Anyways, Toss Gang Trail, despite being a last minute sub today, let's see how he performs and see if he can put up a star performance. We appreciate you coming out here today, Trail, being a last minute substitute. Let's see how you perform. I'm a, you can't let me catch you, bro. You feel me? If you let me catch you, I have a little surprise for you, bro. I'm an undercover cop, bro. If you let me catch you, going to jail, bro. Two, one. Bro, our host really just can't catch shit. Like, this nigga is trash. Like, you suck. Three, two, one. Once again, despite having a rod in his leg, Old Black Eda was able to escape 12 in rep number 2. Maybe he was not lying about that rod after all. Let's take it down there and see his time. 10 seconds at 69. I wanted to put him in jail. Ain't nobody beat that commercial. We can do it again here. You don't want to do it again. You don't want to do it again. You lying. I beat him two times already. I'll do a third one. Since you want to keep on talking like I'm not really like that, I'm going to stop taking easy on him. I'm going to catch him. I'm talking about the watch, nigga. Stop watching. Alright, folks. They are actually going a third rep since E decided he wanted to talk some smack after his performance. Our host, Golden African, was not having it and took that as a challenge. So this is very interesting. Now all other opponents will be forced to do three reps as well. And the best time will be the one recorded for their final score. Three, two, one. Nine dot eighty four. You the three times. If you the one, you'd got the chain. If you the one, you'd got the chain, bro. Oh, BD, you finna pay for my yurt, and I'm finna beat him and run it. Three, two, one. Second round, it looked like a breeze for Puda. He kind of just breezed to the finish line. Our host was not able to keep up. Very, very unfortunate. Very, very disappointing. That just amped me up. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, put this badge out. Oh, damn. Three, two, one. I don't know what to tell our host, bro. Like, he traveled all that distance for what? My nigga, you was right there. How did you not catch him, bro? How? Like, you was right there. Get that slow, Joe. Tell his ass pick up his speed. They gonna drop your ass. I'm gonna catch him, bro. Two, one. I don't got shit to say. Like, this nigga make me sick, bro. You right there, bro. You right there. I'm a Frank, I ain't no athlete. We gotta do one more. I'm a rapper, bro. I ain't no motherfucking basketball player. What the fuck you got going on, son? He told me I was putting up for a regular vlog, shawty. Three, two, one! There you have it, folks. Puda was able to ace the first drill with a perfect score without getting caught once. Our host, Go to African, on the other hand, is putting up a very disappointing performance so far. He claims himself as a pro athlete. He has never had a sip of liquor. He has never smoked. So for him to keep going out sad like this to some hood niggas is disappointing, bro. Like, what the f*** is this nigga doing? Let's see how he performs in the following drills, though. It's not over yet, folks. All right, drill number two. Man, shooting, bro. We going on a drill for the second drill, man. Basically, what we doing, I'm going to have my gun set up on my side. He's going to have his gun set up on his side. We're going to start in the middle. We're going to be facing back to back. And then we're going to run after our guns. We're going to pick our gun. We got to reload it. And we're just going to get straight to blasting, man. Whoever gets to lose, man. Because how are you going to be a real street nigga if you can't even shoot? I don't know about them, but I'm a real shooter, bro. I'm here to fuck some shit. Bro, my shit got a switch on the armor didn't blow a nigga down. Nobody here fuck with me. And I put my real shooter. I know none of these niggas are fucking with me, bro. I don't give a fuck where you from. I'm blowing and blasting. My shit got a switch on it. These niggas not fuck with me. Just, just watch. Watch what I do to these niggas. This spot. Right. You feel me? You think he, I'm not gonna be able to compete with them, but he don't know I'm gonna blow him down, bro. I'm law enforcement, you feel me? I'm not Three, two, one. 
and they are off drill number two man shooting this is going to be very interesting to see both competitors rushing their spots getting ready for combat as you can see go to african is loading up his gun i'm curious to see if he will be able to compete because he is obviously going going up against a real og member who knows what he's doing but go to african this team's very confident so we'll just have to see how he performs this nigga's gun just jammed on the drill i repeat this nigga's gun just jammed on the drill this is not good at all for our host considering oh shit you don't pushing up the african territory no 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 yeah. damn oh my my goodness folks one zero e dog our host gun just jammed on the drill with arguably one of the worst people for your gun to jam on e dog is a veteran in this field very very smart competitor and having your pipe jam is the worst thing that can happen to you when you out in the field with someone like that very unfortunate for our host damn you see my shit hit you in the side that shit hit you in the side for i would have had if my shit didn't jam off coming for you bro back to back in the middle and then he gonna count it three, two, one, and then we gonna run, get our guns, we gonna reload it, and then we me get to blast. And whoever gets shot first loses the round. So we're gonna do three rounds of those. No, 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 no. I'm going to get oh, that strap right That's there. <laughs> no, cut it away, bro. <laughs> no, we gotta be in the middle, bro. This the middle, Lord. Actually, hold on. Come, let's be like right here. Actually. Three, two, one. goodness round one golden african oh my goodness folks it looks like our host is making a comeback he just walked down puta from bkn in some cold fashion securing the first round puta claims he hit the african first it's hard to tell from the video but our host claims he did not feel any bullets and proceeded to brutally savagely finish his opponent wow wow man folks let's clap it up let's clap it up folks I do this. Yeah. I bet. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I'm gonna f him up, man. Three, two, one. What a round we had right there, folks. I actually think our host might have hit him first. I don't know, though. I don't know. But he did retreat, so we're going to have to give the round a trail. Very competitive round. I like it. I like it a lot. I thought I hit you first. Who hit you first? I didn't hit you. I didn't hit you. Oh. <laughs> hit me with a headshot, bro. Real torture, man. Real torture. He just me in the head. No, no. I'm running up to All right, three. three. Two, one, go. Round number two, let's see if our host can redeem himself this time. Picking up an already loaded gun, no time wasted. He looks ready for war. Shots fired from distance from the African. He's making sure he is the aggressor this time around taking every chance he has. Oh, damn, the African boy is pushing up this time. He is thirsty for that kill. Edo tried to let up a couple shots, but missed everything. This is getting good, folks. This is getting good. Eat all letting up some shots. Oh, oh damn! Oh, oh my goodness, folks. This is an outstanding display of combat that we have just witnessed. Because how the f did this nigga just reach over the car and pop him like that? Like, this nigga gotta be the light skinned John Wick. Because what, bro? Like, you can definitely tell he not new to this. He is a veteran at this game. Oh my goodness. Wow. He don't know how to do that. For the real guys. You see that, sir, sir? Over the Bro, how the f*** these hood niggas come different, bro? How the f*** he just did that shit over the car? Yeah. He like 5'4". How the f*** he did that shit? I'm 6'4", bro. I told you, my life. Oh, yeah. 
Who shot first? They claim they in the streets, bro. I'm the real shooter, bro. I'm law enforcement, bro. I got that aim for real, bro. So you ain't get hit? I didn't get hit. You flying, dude. Two, one. It looks like Puda representing BKN was hungry to get it back in blood and unfortunately got get back on our host and walk them down. But all that though, what happened around before this, bro? We gotta speak the facts though. Let's not take away the fact our handsome six foot tall athletic African host walked Puda down last round and finished him in cold fashion like he was John Wick. Actually, you know what? Fuck Puda replay. Let's replay the round before this one. Look at this! Look at this! Look at the precision! He walked him down in cold fashion like he was a trained assassin hired to do this. Born to shoot. Our host really is one of a kind, ladies and gentlemen, and we cannot take this for granted, bro, because this is generational talent we are witnessing before our eyes. <laughs> two, three, two, one! Walk him down. Walk him down. Walk him down. Damn. Oh my goodness. Look at our host just walk him down like nothing. He didn't even see it coming. Oh my gosh. Who is this man? Who is this man? Oh my. Put up on him. He didn't know I was coming, bro. He didn't know. I cooked him. Three, two, what? Here we go, rep number three. One more loss for our host, and that's a sweep. But from what I'm seeing right now, folks, this nigga need LeBron on his team to make this comeback because I don't see no hope in this man. Like, he for sure needs to stay out the streets, keep doing YouTube. Please don't put a gun nowhere near this guy's hands because he do not know how to use it. E Dog has just pushed up to African territory, having the African boy panic. Oh, yeah, man. there he goes. All right, folks, hold on. Let's get a replay on this real quick. Wait, pause it right there. Yup, yup, just right there. Let's analyze this real quick. Who the f*** is this nigga aiming at? Casper? Please stay out the streets. Don't ever try to go on a drill. Your ops is gonna grill your ass, dude. Stick to YouTube, stick to playing soccer, and stick to hooping. I'll repeat it for you. Stick to YouTube, stick to playing soccer, and stick to hooping. Do not step foot nowhere near the streets, bro. The op is having a field day with you, bro. Nigga, I wish you was my op. You're the easiest body of all time. Like I said, stick to YouTube, stick to playing soccer, and stick to hooping, my nigga. The streets is not for you, bro. He just got dicked that time. <laughs> yeah. He ain't playing for real. <laughs> I think Buster ain't playing for real. He would've won again if you got the chain, if you'd have won again. Oh, oh, oh. How the f I just got swept, bro? Like, he five foot four. I really thought I had this bad. Like, he just my whole face up, my skin. Like, do I got a bullet hole right here? Oh, and he not done. This nigga is bloodthirsty, chasing down everything he sees. We done got him started, folks, and I don't think he gonna stop. And this only E dog, don't miss. Well, you gotta teach me that, bro. One. I got him. He dead. He dead. He dead. He dead. I killed him. I killed him. I killed him. I already got you, bro. I already got you. You talking about? I do this shit. I'm a real shooter, man. Oh my gosh, folks. I think I'm about to cry. Ain't no way I'm holding this talented. He just walked that nigga down like it wasn't nothing. <laughs> I can't even speak. That shit was beautiful. This little nigga too talented. Look at the way he put his opponent through it. He got unlimited aura, bro. I can't. I can't. This little nigga too raw. What the fuck you talking about, nigga? I do this. Shit. I'm a real shooter, man. These niggas gotta stop playing with me, bro. These hood niggas think they gonna come over here and fuck me, bro. I'm law enforcement, bro. I told y'all niggas, man. I walked down, man. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Unfortunately, 
Puda will not be competing in this last drill because rules upon filming today was to be accompanied by at least two people so the last drill could happen but you feel me Puda failed to do that so you feel me we we, we failed to get participants to uh participate to fill the spot so as far as i'm concerned that is not my problem so, so for this last drill Puda, you will be getting zero points my nigga but anyways, let's move on, folks. Puda represented Beacon. Thank you for coming out, man. Uh, competing in the very first Chicago Hood Olympics. Didn't put up the best performance, but uh, uh, I, yeah, um, good luck, man. Three, two, one. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Damn. I ain't gonna lie folks, just like first round, I do think our host did hit him first, but he retreated bro, he retreated, so we go have to give the round to Trail again, so congratulations to Trail. Clapping his ass, I'm trying to hit you first, man, you hit me afterwards, <laughs> you hit me I don't know, we gotta review footage bro, I don't know, who you think hit who first? Review, review footage. Afterwards, I don't know who won bro. Hey, come here, man. Nigga say you need to switch out here in the trench. You see that? That garbage. He tied. Oh, really? Throat. He cheated, bro. He, he cheated. Got one, 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 one. <laughs> well, he faced him know. All right, for this last drill, what they don't know is um, it's like it's a trick question. You feel me? So I'm trying to put him on a drill. Wait, what am I saying? Just gotta learn how to explain shit. Like I'm bad at explaining shit. For this last drill, he doesn't know it's a drill. You feel me? I'm just telling him. Uh, I'm gonna have three people lined up in front of him. And I'm gonna give him the splatter ball gun. He gonna choose somebody to shoot. But he doesn't know this is a drill, you feel me? So I'm just gonna go walk over somewhere and I'm gonna have him shoot one person and I'm gonna come back casually. I'm gonna just ask him, hey, so who did you shoot on like some casual shit, bro? Cause he doesn't know this is the snitching, the man snitching drill, bro. I'm trying to see if he gonna snitch on himself, if he gonna fold. Like, did he keep in mind? I told him earlier, I'm law enforcement, bro. Like, this is where your street nigga, like, you feel me? This is where your street knowledge comes in, you feel me? So. Yeah, I'm just gonna say that casually. I'm gonna walk away. I'm gonna come back and see if he gonna tell me who he shot, bro. Like, we finna expose some niggas. I hope I expose some niggas today, man. Cause yeah, let's see if you let's see if you niggas really solid like you say you are. I wanna see if you niggas are really solid, man. Are y'all niggas really solid or y'all just be chatting, bro? DQ, how you coming? Oh, and this, it's not really the drill. I just wanna I, I wanna test something real quick. Yeah. I'm from London, so you said what? From London? Nah, I'm not from London. I'm from Africa. Well, you dog don't know, man. I'm having him shoot one of the players right there. You feel me? But I'm gonna test. I'm gonna test if he's a real, if he's a real street nigga, man. Like, I'm gonna have him shoot somebody, and I'm gonna ask him who he shot, bro. I'm, I'm gonna test his snitching skills, bro. He gonna self snitch on himself, so it's like a trick. He don't know. He don't know this is a drill. You feel me? So I told him earlier, I'm a cop. You feel me? So he better not. I'm early. I'm a cop, bro. So snitchy, tell me who he shot, bro. <laughs> He losing 75 points bro so let's go uh let's go see hey folks what it looks like right now is edog is getting ready to pick his culprit edog does not know this is a drill so this is going to be very interesting to see because we, we want to see if he really got that just natural street mentality to never snitch bro like he in a mindset right now we shoot in a video bro i don't know does he remember the host did tell him earlier on he was law enforcement so we just trying to see if he gonna keep that in mind bro because a real street nigga is always on point bro no matter what the situation is bro so we just gonna we just want to test it out and we gotta talk it down <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness can we get a replay on that little bro did not want no type of problems bro he already knew what happened before bro so he had to get up right up out of there man uh you gotta love the hood olympics man the only place you're gonna find this type of entertainment exclusively on goaded african channel man make sure y'all subscribe so you don't miss out man three two one so you didn't choose nobody to shoot he said he was going to shoot none of us. All right, all right. Let's review the footage just to make sure we tell him the truth. You feel me? Two. One. Hey, I got to say, congratulations. You passed the no snitching test.
Oh my goodness, what a run from Oblak Ida, completely acing all drills with a perfect score, making things very difficult for his competitors. The other competitors literally have to get a perfect score or better to be able to win the Chicago Hood Olympics 2024. Congratulations to Ida representing Oblak Wick City. Truly outstanding performance. I'm gonna fall for it, bro. I told him I was a cop earlier. He already got twisted shit, man. For this last drill, I put two people in front of you. You feel me? Man, just not leave the drill. It's just a warm up before against the last drill, and you're gonna choose somebody to shoot. I'm not gonna look. I'm just gonna walk away real quick. And then after you do that, I'm gonna come back and ask you some questions. You feel me? It's like, you feel me? So, we're gonna test uh, this snitch and stuff. You feel me? You don't know. I told him I was law enforcement at the beginning of the video. Let's see if you remember. Over here, sneak dissing, man. <laughs> over here, sneak dissing, I'm a, I'll, I'll be back. Feel me? Just. Oh, you done shooting? Let me know. All right. <laughs> That's crazy. Like, go for your ass up. Boy, face me. No, no. Face me. I'm going to take this shit my way. It's my game. My hood, my game. All right, uh, so, uh, so who'd you shoot? Shit, yeah, you see, I have to take one, though. These my niggas, so I shot both of them. Yeah. Type shit. All right, hold on. Give me a second. Just, right. just stand right there. Wonder what the f you got for a nigga now. Remember, I told you I was law enforcement at the beginning of the video, right? You gotta review the footage to see if it's telling the truth. Damn! No! That's what happened. You just lost 75 points for snitching, bro. Oh my goodness, folks. But now, though, we're gonna cut up some slack for the last drill because he didn't understand. <laughs> he didn't understand the last drill, you feel me? He generally thought he had to tell me who he shot so the game could move on. So we're going to cut him some slack. But unfortunately, though, we're still going to have to deduct 75 points. Because you feel me? The rules are the rules. You know, those are the rules, man. You feel me? I, I didn't make the rules. You feel me? Even though I did make the rules, you feel me? I just didn't make the rules. Uh, it was good shit. Good shit, man. You performed good, man. He lost 75 points, man. Dog Obla, congratulations winning the very first Chicago Hood Olympics. Oh my God. what a performance. Next time I see you, I'm gonna bring you your gold medal, man. I'm gonna stop by Walmart or somewhere and buy you a gold medal. You feel me? <laughs> congratulations, Old Black E Dog, man. If y'all enjoyed this video, man, like, subscribe, comment, man. And I might just do a part two, man. I, and comment down below who you want me to try to get. You feel me? I'm gonna try to get them. You feel me? And we're gonna do a part two. Let me know what hoods y'all wanna see, man. But shit, man, I've been gone for so long, bro. Oh my gosh, I've been gone for so long. It feel good to be back. That's all I gotta say. It feel good to be back. And I'm back posting, man. I'm back posting. This was really just a test. I was trying to test this out because I don't know. I might do another one, bro. If y'all want me to do another one, comment down below. And I'm gonna see and comment down below what other hoods you want me to get into it. And I'll try to get it into there. Because this was really just like a test, you feel me? I wanted to see how like it would turn out, you feel me? If that makes sense, you feel me? So yeah, we got it done, you feel me? It was, it was very unorganized. But the next time I do it, I promise it's going to be way better, bro. Way better, way more organized. Drill's going to look actually nice, you feel me? I, I, and we're going to tone down on the running, you feel me? I ain't going to lie, the running was kind of OD. We're not going to run for the next one. We're going to do something different. Yeah, 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 man. Yeah, man, I'm back and back. <laughs> Y'all nigga back, man. I'm back, you feel me? I feel, it feels good to be back, bro. Like, I don't know. Y'all niggas don't know. I've been gone for so fucking long. Ooh. I just been wanting to post so bad, man. But I'm back now, you feel me? And I'm gonna explain to y'all why I've been gone in these next coming weeks. So stay tuned, because somebody might just catch a stray. Ooh, I, I ain't gonna say too much right now. Somebody might just catch a stray, but you feel me? That's a, that's a story for another day, you feel me? So follow me on IG. Follow me on TikTok. Speaking of TikTok, if you want to make some money, bro, clip a viral moment from this video, post it on TikTok. If it go viral, bro, hit my DM, bro. I got you a little oh, cha -ching, cha -ching, cha -ching, cha -ching. You feel me? So do that, man. Y'all know the drill, man. Come on, man. I don't want to explain myself, man. But yeah, man, stay tuned. I'm dropping videos back now. Follow me on TikTok. Follow me on IG. Shit, man, I only got shit else to say, man. Uh, I'm going to be talking about a lot of shit. You feel me? In this coming weeks, somebody might catch a stray. You feel me? So stay tuned, man. Stay tuned to all of that, bro. Oh my gosh, I'm out, man. I feel good to be back.